Well, hello there, guys. Uh, today, we're doing something that we've been saying we're gonna do for a long time. Um, it is a follow-up to a previous gear review video that I did in the past, and we'll link that down below. But this one is a gear review of the Helicon Tex EDC Sling Pack. So I was looking for a sling packs because we go on hikes and stuff a lot. We were trying to look for something that could carry all of you know our medical kits, a firearm, different snacks, a water bottle, something like that that was nice and easy and simple. And I think we found it. I was looking, you know, initially at some cheaper options. I looked at, you know, the Patagonia, Adam, Sling. I looked at the one that we linked below, the REI Signal Sling or whatever that was. Uh, but I didn't want to pay the price of a, a Vertex pack or a Condor Lee or a Vicos. Uh, those are all ones I was considering, uh, but they were a little bit more money than I wanted to spend. So I ended up checking out this and I think that we found it. I think this one is the one that we will be keeping. So what is it? It is a, obviously a sling pack. It goes across one shoulder. It has three pockets. It's got a small pocket for keys and such. It has a medium pocket for other nonsense. And then it has the large pocket, which is where your firearm goes. This, there it is, the large pocket where your firearm goes. It came with a universal Velcro holster inside each Inside the main pocket, there is some kind of Velcro type material, so it sticks on. Basically, you just insert your firearm into there and you cinch it up. I've tried it. The retention is very good on the firearm. I don't like that it's not a Kydex holster or something like that. It makes me a little bit nervous to use it, but I haven't had any problems with it coming loose or anything like that so far. It also has this very handy water bottle pocket, uh, which we really like, especially because it has, you know, the little clip. So that way you can, you know, if you've got a plastic or metal water bottle, it can go through there. One of the things that I really like about this pack, especially from, you know, off body carry type perspectives is for the firearm pocket, it has a quick open mechanism. So you'll be wearing it, you'll transition it to the front, and then just by this little tab that sticks out, doesn't get caught or anything like that, you can just open it and then go to draw your firearm. So unlike some other backpacks and stuff like that, well, you'll have it on there and you'll make the transition and then you've got to, you know, open it up yourself and dig in there or something like that. This one, it's very simple. You just pull the tab down and then your firearm, you know, you'll ideally have this positioned. I, don't have my firearm right now because it's a YouTube video, but you'll have a position and you can just draw and then go into engaging whatever threat uh, merits the use of force. But yeah, so I really like it. It's just big enough for what you need. Phone, wallet, keys, a couple snacks, a medical kit, your firearm, water bottle. And it's not so big that you feel like, you know, there's unneeded space. You're just carrying around stuff that's not needed. Um, with that being said, there are a couple things that I would change about it. One is that the pockets aren't very expandable. So once you have all of your equipment in here and you wanna put in a water bottle, especially a, a rigid water bottle, the water bottle will kind of like push into the rest of the bag a little bit because it doesn't expand um, as much as it should. The other thing that eh, is not great is that unlike some of the other ones, there's only one point, so it's not ambidextrous, the sling bag. You know, you can only wear it basically like I just showed you, going from your right shoulder and the bags down on your left hand side. For me, that's not a big problem because I operate my firearm with my right hand, but if you're left-handed, it might be something that you wanna consider. Uh, the other thing that I forgot to mention earlier is there's this other cool little pouch. I think it's technically a sunglasses pouch, but you can put comms in there, radios, whatever you want. It's got a handle in case you're gonna be carrying it with a handle. I don't know who does that, but you can if you want to. So yeah, you can wear it like that. I've worn it occasionally going the other way, especially when your backs are getting sweaty across the front of your body. All in all, it's a very, very solid uh, bag. 
One of the other things that I like about this bag is that it comes, I got it off of Amazon, we'll link it below, but one of the things I like about it is it isn't screaming out that I have a gun in this bag. Some of the bags I was looking at, you know, came in the beige military colors, it came in the black tactical colors, you know, some of them had molly all over it, and it was, it was very much <clears throat> military style bags. This one comes in gray, super simple. If you want the military type looking bags, they come in black, they come in the beige, but it comes in gray. It comes in lighter gray than this, I believe. And it also comes in like a, a blue. So you can carry your weapon, you can carry your medical kit, you can, you know, have everything that you need for your EDC needs. And you're not gonna be screaming out, watch out for this guy, be careful. So. All in all, I think this is a very, very solid bag. It's got you know, some breathable type material on the back, so although your back will get sweaty, you're not gonna be dying from the sweat pouring everywhere. It's just big enough for what we need. I've taken it on you know, three or four hikes probably so far. Um, covered probably, I don't know, 20 miles of ground with it on. It's pretty comfortable. It's, you know, the padding doesn't really rub into you that much. Overall, a very, very solid bag. Helicon Tech's EDC sling bag gets my recommendation. We got it for, I think it was $65 from Amazon, which if you start looking into sling bags, especially sling bags that are made for carrying weapons, you can easily get up to $90 really fast. And then for the name brand ones, you start getting up close to, you know, 130 to almost $200 for some of these sling bags and these backpacks, which is more than I wanted to spend. It's about half of, that's about twice what I spent on this. And this is overall very, very solid. I haven't had any problems with it so far. One of the other things that I think is a little bit difficult with this bag is that it doesn't have any, within the pockets, there's no pouches or stuff like that. So it's hard to keep, you know, various little things, pens, magazines, knives, flashlights in their set place. With that being said, on Amazon you could find, because this pouch also has that Velcro type material, there's Velcro pouches that you can slap in there if you want to do it super easy. And that has all the pouches in there, usually like 10 to 15 bucks. But I will say that is one of the downsides of this bag, is that you just throw everything in there and then it kind of rattles around, you know, flashlights, knives, all that kind of stuff. But overall, pretty solid. Get yourself one if you feel like you want to do some off-body carry on hikings or if you just need a really cool sling bag in general. All right, guys, uh, this is my review. It gets a thumbs up from Tyler, and we'll see you guys next time.